everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. It's a popular fun fact that according to surveys, the majority of people cite public speaking as their greatest fear, even above death. This suggests that what people fear the most is the judgment of other people. How do you get over that kind of fear? If you lived in the 16th century, St. John of Avila, one of the greatest preachers of his time, might have been a good person to ask. John was born in central Spain in the year 1499. He was brought up in the faith and had a comfortable early life. When he was a teenager, he went to university to study law, but ended up leaving without getting his degree. Clearly, he had found some kind of new calling. He returned home and reformed himself, living like a monk for three years. When he eventually decided to continue his education, he switched gears and took courses in philosophy and theology. John lost both of his parents while he was still in school, but he completed his education and became a priest in 1526. Taking his family's property, now his by inheritance, he sold it and distributed the money to the poor. After leaving behind these material ties, he decided to travel abroad. He was preparing for a journey to America when a local priest encountered him and was impressed by his zeal. Word spread and the Archbishop of Seville learned about John. He paid the young priest a visit and realizing his talent, begged him to remain in Spain. So John gave up on going to America and began to preach in Andalusia in 1529. His first sermon there made a powerful impression on people, and in no time at all, he began to draw crowds who were eager to listen to what he had to say. John was a fiery speaker and strongly opinionated. He traveled throughout Spain calling for reform and fearlessly speaking out against the greed of the aristocracy, which got him into a bit of trouble. In 1532, he was imprisoned and questioned by the Inquisition, who feared that he was overstating the evils of wealth and suggesting that the rich could never get into heaven. In time, he was found innocent of these charges and released, at which point he returned immediately to his work. His passion for the faith, undimmed by his imprisonment, drew people to conversion and even formed several saints, including St. John of God and St. Francis Borgia. While his spirit never wavered, John's health began to decline in 1551, after which he was constantly falling ill. He continued doing what work he could until he died in 1569. Though he could no longer preach directly to the people, his wisdom survived, most famously in his greatest work called Audifilia, or Listen Daughter. He was canonized in 1970 and named a doctor of the church in 2012. To those who list public speaking as their greatest fear, myself included, it might be a little hard to believe that St. John of Avila went around saying pretty much whatever he wanted. Did he really care so little about what people thought? Maybe. But more likely, there was one opinion he valued so greatly that the others seemed unimportant by comparison. If we can teach ourselves to consider how God sees us first, then we can begin to live out the faith more earnestly and worry less about what others think. St. John of Avila, pray for us.